Welcome back, everyone, to another Spearhead cast. With me, Matt. Welcome to a Western Front battle. Let's go through the team, shall we? On the Allied side, we have Chief Dog playing as the United States of America. We have Puss and Pie also playing as the United States of America. And they have not picked a commander yet. We have Fortune Blues playing as Royal Commando Regiment. Ooh, this is interesting. And we have Q playing also as Royal Commando Regiment. Yes, we have some Royal Commandos upon the uh, United States. On the Axis side, we have Man Ololomox playing as Sturm Tactics for the Waffen SS. Eric playing as the Wehrmacht. Crazy Man and L playing as the Wehrmacht. And IECXT playing. IEXT playing as the Waffen SS. Not having, neither of these three having picked the commanders yet. We'll try and keep an eye now on one, what these people do. Looks like the Americans are already pushing up heavily against some st Storm Pioneers here, and they're gonna get mowed down out in the open because they're using Springfields. And not uh, M1 carbines anymore. This is Spearhead 2, after all. I'm gonna be very interested to see what the British do because both British win Commander Regiment. Just definitely gonna have a little bit of an impact on things. Looks like Eric and the uh, Panzer Engineers moving up here. Looks like we Eric has gone for Panzer Division. We need to keep an eye on where people go. Ah, and looks like uh, IEC has gone for the 70 vs. So that's Panzerjäger. Well, we have double British uh, Commander Regiment. That's going to mean a lot of fun stuff later on, I hope. So we have a Cooper Bark in flanking here. This is a 4v4, so normally I would have trouble keeping an eye on everything. Oh, that was a very good brand flash here right there. And then we have the Cooper Bark in flanking. Ooh, not looking good there. Oh, both Americans are going for airborne? Well, 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 this should be fascinating. Double commando, double airborne. We're gonna have a lot of elite forces present then. And a lot of air support. But yeah, this is a 4v4 map, but it's a very narrow 4v4 map, so hopefully I should be able to keep an eye on most of the action, and hopefully not miss too much. But you never know what's gonna happen. Looks like we have the uh, 101st Airborne Riflemen not doing very well against these uh, Vox Grandier supporters and some pioneers here. Find this tractor. Some more Riflemen are coming out to replace them. Looks like other oh, Airborne are digging in and we have some actual 101st troops coming in now. Chief are coming in with the fire team here. So we have some Valonian Legion here. Lots of far right Belgian, Belgian far right extremists, basically, who sign up to fight for the Nazis. Oh, looks like the Germans are being pushed off there. Oh, Racky team has been detected here by the uh, Volksgradius. Racky's not going to do too well against up that close against that many troops, and that's a dead Racky team. That's not a good sign. So the Germans are digging in along some of the front. Again, some grenadiers coming up here. Also an MG34 coming up for the Waffen SS. Likely to hold this large area down here. Like yeah, the fire team present here are being armed with carbines. There's the other airborne troops there, yeah, also being armed with carbines. Yes, the carbine is a really popular weapon. Well, they have this. Number one commando rifle section just holding the center here. But just troops behind heavy cover should do really well, so this should not be much of a problem for them. Oh, but that was a rifle grenade! It didn't kill them though, but did a lot of damage. And here comes the actual airborne. They're still warning out in the open though, which is not good for elite infantry to do. Yeah, America's not having the easiest time right here. Got your airborne troops coming up. We have an MG-44 now here for the Waffen SS holding this top area with the Chateau. Chateau? Chateau? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It looks like... Oh! Good grenade there from the uh, Germans. Stopping the uh, airborne right in their tracks. Also, it looks like the British riflemen tried to do something. 
Not sure, not sure what this British player is doing. Q, he's not really pulled much out yet, but we are getting some more riflemen. Guess they've lost a lot up here, probably. That I haven't paid attention to. This flank seems to be pretty safe for the Germans. Using the MG34 in the back here just as a... to stop any advance at the points. Good range and good reach. It's a perfect map for, map for machine guns, especially German ones. And we have a lot of Alonians coming onto the field here. There's four squads of Alonians. That's a lot of uh, Belgian far-right extremists. And here we have a commando lieutenant. The first of them being called in. We also have some actual grenadiers from the Panzer. From the Panzer grenadiers, yeah. Present for being a Panzer commander. Or crazy when they liked it, okay. So we have a very different German force, but we have very elite and air-heavy air allied force coming in here. That's a great idea. Oh, good grenade. Uh, uh, impact grenade there from the, uh, from the Valonians. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we also have more commanders coming in here. The 13th Earth has assault recons. If there's no recon squad here, they might have to be able to get up close. But you need to be positioned very carefully. A little bit of a firefight here, but I think the Germans have the upper hands. But there is a brain carrier coming. Also have the commander lieutenant here. Not sure well he's gonna hold it though. That's a lot of infantry coming his way. But if commandos have not been spotted yet. Like, he is an A squad, like most commandos, so he is very accurate and can hold his ground pretty well. But his squad is small and vulnerable. We have more airborne supporting the uh, one of the normal riflemen here. Trying to push up against the German lines. The Germans have set up a bunker here. Looks like we have some actual Panzer Grenadiers on the field too, the 15 Panzer Grenadiers. Being armed with Sturmgewehrs. But the airborne are now getting into a position and range they are much better at. There was sort of an MG here, but it's not able to see because of the locks. Commanders are still holding the ground. 30th commandos are laying mines right in this in the middle of the open area. They might get spotted. They've been spotted. But they stepped on the mine. Looks to have arrived for the Germans. Grenade. Oh, good grenade there from the Wallonians again. Those impact rates are very devastating. And now they have access to a lot more Storm Givers. Grenade right there on the machine gun. Oh, that was a devastating one. That pineapple really is uh, heavily killing one. Looks like the Germans are preparing to build blockades down here to stop any vehicles from trying to get across. And we'll have some air an airdrop coming in here for the Americans. They're dropping in medical supplies for the British, but it's arriving a bit too late. We also have a recon now for the Germans here because they spotted the uh, commandos so earlier. They probably don't want to repeat meeting those guys. Orders coming in. We have a Valentine coming in too. Looks like the uh, commander lieutenant is down with Thompsons, Tommy guns. Oh, we have a mechanized force coming up for the Germans here. Some light tech on ideas. Panzer Grenadiers moving in here quickly with the half track. But they're moving a bit too close to the, to the British lines. Being hit by rifle grenades. And then running straight into the Valentine. They're trying to throw Panzer Faust, but it was too late. They got mowed down in the open. Bomb! Oh, bomb set on this Luke's concept to cook off. Placement is already coming in the form of Panzer Grenadiers by the looks of it. They're looking so well for the Germans now that the Allies are getting tanks out. We have a crowd mower as well. We have some commandos having been called in behind German lines here all the way in the back. Now that could end up being big. We'll have to keep an eye on that on the minimap to see what happens. Big Wallonian force coming here. Some angry far right Belgians, but they're meeting the crowd mower. Ah, they're putting mines in the road here. 
Or there would be if they if it was a if it was a reinforcement point, but it isn't. Valentine's slowly pushing up, but there are some Germans hiding here. They don't have any anti-tank equipment though, but they are being upgraded with the Panzer's wreck. And indeed, we see a commando camp being set up here in the rear of the in the rear of the battle. Very smart move from the Allies. Making use of their commando abilities, and indeed, we have some pathfinders being pulled into from the Americans here. So we're gonna have some very cheeky, cheeky play here from the allies. I like to see this. Here's the Panzer Shrek. Oh, missing. Panzer Good here is moving up though. They haven't been armoring the assault weapon, Rito. That's a great coming that way, a Mills bomb. Oh, and that's an expensive loss. Those Panzer Good years are costly. Proud Mo is making his presence known. So I think this battle is turning more and more in the Allies' favor the longer it this lasts. But the Allies are now behind the enemy line. Now what they need to do is just get some troops behind the enemy line and start causing havoc. They could certainly cause a big... Uh, what's it called? A big uh, distraction for the Allies. We also have a Ford Airborne camp coming up. Ooh. Everything is just going up here. That's a lot of angry Valonians, though. Fucking Nazis and fascists. Fascists. Listen, Germans have kind of fought around, uh, around this chateau, though, but not much battle is going on there. But the Lux is the present, and we also have some airborne trying to move up here. Up. They're just out of range of the bunker, allowing them to take it. That bunga is actually covering as well as it could. Well, it looks like the Lux and the Valonians are relocating for that. We also have some more commandos being called in here, using this little house in the rear. Lux is now attacking the Americans out here in the open fields. But it might be going for the crowd mower. The crowd mower cannot deal with the auto cannon if it hits it. Yep, and indeed the auto cannon is firing. Now the presence of the Valentine could be a powerful tool, but there's a pack 40 here present. Commandos present though, trying to push up. Using assault abilities here. Commandos are really good AC infantry, but they're really expensive. They can be armed with a multitude of very specialized equipment generally. These guys can be armed with full on Thompsons if you want, which is kinda nuts. Oh, here comes the Valonians, lots of them. Supporting the Luke's and the Panzer Gradius coming in too. Alongside the Volks Gradius armed with stolen Thompsons. Oh, those airborne might have to open fire soon to just buy some time for the Allies. There they are. Ah, but Panzerfaust got off. But the Pathfinders have made their presence known, that's a problem. They might have been made their presence known a bit too early. Big air sweep coming over for the for the United States here. Not a lot of presence to actually deal with them. Oh, they're calling down all the Valonians in their retreat. Oh, that's that's devastating. I need to get some AT here though. Because the Germans could flush them up with a vehicle. Ah, they're going for flank they're going for a flanking attack on these on these units. Are they in range of a flag? Ah, the base flag here can hit them. This thing, it can hit shoot away all the way out here apparently. Throw a impact grenade over the wall. 
Only killing one guy, though. But the bunker is down. But the Germans are advancing along the f actual front line now. The British are gonna have to somehow hold. Running into a airborne, airborne squad here. Oh, we have uh, Stuart coming out for the Allies, though. We should be able to deal with the looks unless the looks get some good shots. Yeah, they have a tank coming out to try and deal with the uh, commando and airborne operation in the rear. Oh, they took out the flak gun! With the, with the impact rate, that's really smart. Oh, yeah, the looks uh, too close. It's too close. It can't take penetrate. Uh, it looks as actually proved to be a decent tank. And so forced to be very careful with moves. Yeah, this area is completely overrun by uh, our commandos. And a gun bomb on the tank! Destroying it! Sudden flanking attack from the uh, elite force of the Allies is, is causing havoc on the Germans. Well, there's too much automatic fire here. After coming into. The Germans need to take the advantage here to just push. No luck can be at the front line if the Allies are focusing so heavily on. Oh, fully armed Thompson commando there. Mowing down in any resistance. Gavin Bomb in the half track. Oh, yeah, that's devastating. Unit lost. Dash it all. Oh, the Allies here have done a really good job just mining this area, making it a hell for the Axis to move. And now another student has arrived for the Allies. They're really pulling a lot in to try and threaten this looks. Oh, good shot from the AC gun. And there it goes, finally. That looks is down. Gotta buy the allies some more time. Yeah, let's need to get some more troops out here though on this flank. It's been a very good flanking maneuver though. They are, they have kind of been detected fully. One of our commando sections has been lost. Oh, good shot with a with a HE shot from that gun right there. Oh, I'd like to see that this airborne operation, the commander operation in the, in the back. That's such a cool idea. Love to see when I can get to see Royal Commandos and their US Airborne working together in unison like that. It's so rare you see it happening. Squad ready for action. What they need is uh, more defenses, though. Another looks coming this way, though. No? Commandos and the airborne do need to be careful. And well, the northern flank is threatened by a spoiler panzer Sherman, which did take, take a lot of damage there. From the advance, from double down time. Not gonna be able to hold that for long, I think. Especially with a pack there. Ah, smart job with the Luke's there trying to flank around. But there's a cannon bomb coming on it! And all, one Gammon Bomb is all it takes. Ah, the Gammon Bomb is really nice. Yeah, never get close to Commandos. The Gammon Bomb is really handy. As you can read, there's an explosive charge. Packed with a healthy amount of plastic explosives. Oh, Sherman coming through to try and support the beleaguered... Uh, Pe commanders and airborne behind an enemy line. That's gonna buy them a lot more time to work with. The Axis front is definitely not looking too well if the Allies can make it bolt like that. But the problem is the a Axis controls more of the main front now. Because the Allies have been focused on much on elite behind enemy line operations. We do have a land mattress here for the uh, Allies though. Have a recon team here too for the Germans. 
to keep an eye on the allies so they can't hide. Oh, and that's the wrong way to retreat. Those Pathfinders aren't getting home. You can have an F1 covering that area there. Also, Minesweeper's present. Pretty calm machine gun trying to keep the Germans pinned. Sandbags did come up though. Artillery strike going in on the Allies. And then F1's returning to flank. But the Sherman is present. But he's moving too close to the tanks! But the airborne is still holding that line though. But F1 is going to flank the Sherman. Oh, but the Sherman got one of them! The Sherman is still in this game. But the F1 got the Sherman. Oh! And although it looks like the Americans have tried to make a push for the center here. But the, but the Panzer Grenadiers are holding the line here. Lots of pack hearts are still coming out for the American Airborne in the center. Or some Royal Commanders moving here. The Allies have cut off this point though. Which means if they can somehow decapture that point, the Commanders can pull off and close the pockets. It looks like the Allies are able to fire into the German base! Threatening the very base itself where they've been forcing from. Oh, that's not good. Another Lux is coming out on another F1 to threaten this Allied position. Very fascinating. Valentine for the Allies present. Double recon for the Axis Northern Front. And a lot more entrenchment for the Axis as well. Monsters in the Central Front. Another Sherman for the Allies. Born encampment here. They could call in the French Resistance if they need them. Not that I think they do well here, but uh, who knows. F1s are making a move now. Pull now artillery on the uh, Allies' position. We have been assigned fresh Panzer Grenadiers. But Jones are trying to push up again here now with the STGs and other assault weaponry. Players from all sides are working so well together here. It's very nice to see. But yeah, uh, US Airborne is just really good at holding that position. They have this ability where they reinforce 75% faster, but all their troops cost 33% more to reinforce. So uh, it's costly, but it means you can hold in desperate times. And here's the other, here's the other E2. Got too close though to the AF1. Needs to turn the gun around. There we go. Enter then arrive too. Looks like the stewards might be planning to make a push here for the sender. It's not looking good for the axes here right now. More Panzer Grenadiers have arrived though, being armed with STGs. Open Blitz has arrived to be able to reinforce at the front, I suppose. Is that a Sturm Tiger? Well, we have a Panther arriving. And I think that's the leader Sturmtiger. Sturmtiger has arrived. That's definitely going to threaten that position. You're just going to fire one big shell when they get side, and that entire position will be literally dead. 
Now the Panzer Grenadiers are trying to make a move for it. Oh, good job with the high explosion shots right there. Killing almost the entire Panzer Grenadier squad. Managed to throw a single grenade out, though. Another half track down. Looks like the Allies' defense has spread out a little bit more, which is good. Mostly in anticipation of something big happening. As good years have arrived and are throwing their grenades. We have a commando sniper team arriving too. The Panthers arrived though, which is going to be able to threaten the Sherman easily. LAS superiority is coming over though. He's just gonna be able to murder everything here now with the STGs and oh the storm seeker destroys the tank. Notice the allied position here has been taken care of. A valid defense though by the allies. Oh but the airborne is still around! Well, the Allies have also been busy pushing along the rest of the front. Looks like the Airborne and the Commanders did do a big, big distraction here. There's still one Axis force that still holds their front line desperately here. The question is, will they have to relocate to support their Allies? Or can they actually push forward? They're getting some of their own Panzer Grenadiers here. The 17 does this. And for slowly creeping forward. It looks like the Germans are, use, are using stolen 75mm packs. Oh, yeah. 75mm pack houses, I mean. So Tika is moving up with some infantry supports. Faces up for some commanders hiding behind a wreck right here. Especially where the storm seeker wishes to fire. But it seems like it might already have an idea. No, no? Okay. Well, yeah, it most certainly has an idea of where it wants to fire. It wants to get rid of these allied positions instantly. Hopefully. Oh, gammon bomb! Oh, very good job there from the allies. Oh, another good explosive there! These Allied players are determined to just fight to the last here. Even take down her looks. Don't lose that moving up though with a storm give us. M10 arriving up too. The rest of the front is a little bit more quiet, but there seems to be a little bit of an artillery fight near the Panther. Looks like this might be it for the Allied defense. But the, Amer but the Airborne just refused to give in. Oh, so much going on here. The Stuk is now firing. This little fighting position too is also causing a lot of issues. Panther is coming under some kind of air assault from the Allies. Oh, rockets from the Royal Air Force! Ooh. We have lost a Panzer. Oh, well, Cromwell is arriving for the uh, American for the uh, British too. The Germans need to make some kind of push on the other flank, though. I think to stabilize this. Yes, this has this flanking maneuver here by the Allies has been devastating. Wow, they even had a pier here, which took out of a loot, took out a looks. Car completed. 
These commandos have done a great job, and now there's AECs arriving too. German recon teams are also in place now. To try and spot out any of the sneaky American and British troops. Looks like the Wehrmacht Panzer division is really low on troops. Troops are getting more Panzer Grenadiers. The 17th SS are trying to desperately hold this ground. And trying to push up slowly, I think, with their recons. But the number one, or the fourth kind of brigade sections, I mean, are holding the line here. More American air superiority coming in. More commanders moving up. So many elite troops. And the allies are still desperately holding this position. These are some brave airborne. Good ambush there. Waiting until they got too close. And activating a fire spear and opening fire. But probably not armed with automatic enough weaponry. And the carbines are a good choice, but I think they've been armed with a the BAR there. They could probably have done a lot more. Oh, and now the flak on the base can hit them again. The commander sniper still present. Commanders are fighting in the center too. This has been a very unorthodox battle, but I like it. The allies kind of just cause a lot of behind the scenes issues for the uh, Germans, which has really impacted them a lot, actually. Entem is streaming up here quickly. But the Panzer Grenadier Assassin has now cleared out the flank. No, oh, and Sturmseeker shot flying straight in the M10. They didn't want to deal with that anymore. Three M's, three AECs, and even more AECs are coming. What is this guy planning? Land mattress not really doing much. By looks, but it has got 23 kills though. I wonder against what. Another Panther has arrived. Panzer Grenadiers is trying to still flush the Americans out, throwing copious amounts of grenades. And the airborne is still refusing to give in. These airborne just refuse to give up. Now more stormtroopers coming up, these guys being fully veteran. Germans trying to come in to support though, but it's getting gonna be shot by the Stuke here. Honestly, I expect the Germans are probably a little bit surprised the Allies, Allies are still holding on, despite everything. Because we have another engagement on this flank by the Chateau. Trying to push through the British defenses here. Lots of mortar shells coming in. Yeah, looks like the Germans finally cleared it out. Took them long. Very impressive defense by that last airborne squad, in all honesty. They held on for way longer than one would have thought them able to. Another looks going forward. AEC Swarm has been assembled. Land match is firing. Seemed like it was suppressing the northern front. Panther's trying to move through the center. Very little can threaten the Panther at this. Panther at the moment. They need air support to take care of that thing. The Cromwells are trying though. A 
the problem is to a rate of fire, they like the accuracy and just the armor penetration to be able to pan for that range. Don't take a firing again. Playing out on an M10 in Descender. But the Allies have lost their steam at the moment. After the Germans managed to clear out the nuisance on their flank, they can focus all their attention on pushing again. What I wonder what this AEC swarm intends to even try. But its front line at the top is not holding much longer. And I had a flight overrun. Giving the, ammo, giving the Allies sight across the entire front line briefly here. Definitely the Allies are showing off their SPOs today. The enemy's trying to take a point from us. AC column have been prepared. Double M10 coming out, but this guy is, does not have any more infantry. You probably try to get some replacement infantry. You never want to want to not have infantry in the front line, because infantry is just so important for everything in this game. M10 ready for action. AC swarm coming. Not sure what they aim to do against the looks, in all honesty. Because this is not kind of what the M10 is, of AEC so is designed for, but it, they did take out the loops, but... They might be aiming to take out the uh, Storm Seeker thing get close. And yeah, everyone just got deafened. That's entirely intentional by the Storm Seeker, by the way. Oh, the AECs are being very aggressive, though. But if they run into auto cannons, they will get shredded. They need to be careful when they move. Yeah, go for the Storm Seeker! But the AC does have a very good gun, despite its size. But it might have been worth it, who knows. Definitely a very risky play, I'd say. There's so much could have just stopped the AECs at so many points. Oh, these Panzer Grenadiers are being threatened heavily. We could try and throw a Panzer Knacker on it. It might be too late now. And it looks like the Panther has kind of cleared out the uh, ACs now. There's very little here that can be deal with the uh, Panther. If anything at all. They need air, air support to deal with the Panther. Attacking it normally is just not gonna work. Those of the Jagdpanzer are now coming out for the northern front here for the for the Germans. Ah, the Allies doing it again. They're doing it again, aren't they? Well, looks like he's been spotted briefly because they're keeping a scout back. Oh, but he did get out of spotting sight. Which commando camp being set up, but it, it's been spotted. These assault commanders are not going to get far. Kaboom. Nah, not good. And that path is going to allow the Germans to slowly just push her through the center with their Panzer Grenadiers. Panzer Grenadiers standing by. Yeah, it looks like the Allies have kind of run out of steam at this point. We'll see if they can turn it around. They do have 76mm Shermans now. Flying a blind corporal to try and blind the tank. Smart move. The problem with these panzer is they are not armed with panzerfausts. You actually have to run up close to the enemy tanks with panzer knackers. Or get into veteran to use the panzer strike. Which can be quite risky. And now they've kind of figured that the allies are back in this position. And the allies are being very tenacious. But they, these stormtroopers should be able to clear it out. Allied AT gun has been destroyed. Come 
Unless, unless these Pathfinders are heroes. But nope, that's not seen that way. These Stolen Troopers seems like they were able to take it out with ease. 76 Sherman and uh, Stuk is having a duel. A lot of terrain is in the way though. Making it difficult for them to shoot each other. The Panzer Group is trying to encircle it. Oh, he's trying to move close to Stuk. That's a risky maneuver. Yeah, but he did get a shot off and he might be able to win it. Nope, looks like the Stuk won that out. The Sherman might be able to pull back still. Yep, look, the Sherman is going to get out of there. Very nice. And well, we have a Cromwell attack up north. But the pan for the Yak Panzer is just too much to deal with. Antenna is being repaired here. And it looks like the Allies are in a little bit of a desperation mode now. We have another Stone Seeker coming in. And Eric, if he could stop getting pan squaddies, he might actually be able to go for something heavier. Like a tiger or not a panther. And that could probably seal the deal easily. But panzer is also good, I'm not gonna deny that. They will allow his allies to have a lot of good infantry support. But can he micro that much is the question. More land matches has been set up by the looks of it. Looks like they are going to flatten the front line. The British are done playing. Ah, they're trying to hit. They're trying to give it to the pan for with a lucky land match shot, I imagine. They took out the, the scout car by looks of it. Land match is a devastating but inaccurate weapon. Oh, it took out that squad though and the trench. Looks like looks like it's working out so far. It's definitely threatening the German front lines infantry. Very good to see. And also one up the north. Didn't do as much by the looks of it. Looks like a Sherman battle force has been prepared by the Allies. Many more Sherman 76s. They're gonna try and engage this German battle group head on. Oh, triple uh, commando squads here. Triple commando assault squads. Oh, being hit by a howitzer shot. Panzer Grenadiers moving up behind cover to meet them. Normally the Panzer Grenadiers would lose, but I think in this situation the Panzer Grenadiers are going to be able to win this. The commanders are kind of, are kind of got it in a very bad position. This is going to force them to retreat. Command of Captain is on the field now. And Cromwells are preparing for some kind of push again. Sherman 76 ready. Looks just gonna run into Cromwells. Oh, it actually survived a shot! Looks like an American plane coming over. This might be a recon run of some kind. Give the Allies an idea of what they're dealing with. Indeed, it looks like the Germans are done playing these games with Pathfinders by their lines. They're keeping troops stationed along the bad lines down here. Just to make sure they don't get infiltrated again. Panther, however, is gonna be something they're gonna have to deal with. And the Storm Seeker is now back in the action again, so uh, that could also threaten any large tank movement that's sticking together. Sherman 5s are coming out though. An interesting choice. We'll have to see how that turns out for them. Water's coming out. Another 
here overrun by the American Air Force. Seems like the Americans are quite eager today to show off their power. An infantry section of Tommies has been trained. Recon teams and just Germans in general opening fire on this major. Oh, Storm Seeker shot. It looks like it killed a lot of stuff there. They didn't kill any of the tanks by the looks of it. Looks like the US Air Force is coming in. Oh, rockets coming in into Panther. Almost killing it. Yachtiger now positioned on the northern front. A Yachtiger of all things. Oh, things are going really far, aren't they? Cromwell's are preparing for some kind of push here. Yacht Panzer spotted them from the flank, though. They have to move quickly because the Panther's present. They're doing a full-on frontal push. Going right, straight into a German for our, for our position. All to take out a Panther. But well, it took out the Panther. The enemy has destroyed a Panzer. Problem is the the storm T gets ready to fire. It's aiming. And it's firing. Oh, it only killed one tank though. M10 is moving a bit too far, I think. So I'll get Panzer now if it isn't careful. I didn't move for their own blink call, but that's not good. We're getting it mowed down. Mm, yeah, I wonder what the Germans are planning. They might be preparing for a tank push on the southern flank here. They put an Oster in here just to be safe. Very smart. Double Panzer 4H, Panzer Grenadiers, and the Command Stuck. Meanwhile, the Jagdsieger is pushing. That's not a good idea. Because the Sherman's now flanking it. Oh, that's a costly. That's costly. Again, the Wunderwaffe should not be uh, treated as wonder weapons. They're more than often are not. Wunderwaffe are very often a disappointment. Surprised like real life. <laughs> Looks like the Americans are going to try and airdrop in troops again, but this time the Germans are prepared. They planted a uh, Ostwind here. Oh, so the Ostwind is in AA mode. So it's not actually targeting the infantry. So it probably needs to be turned off AA mode. You know, the smoke looks like the front arm was smoked by the Americans or British. So much is going on today in this battlefield. It's like a big push in the north. But the German Air Force is defending. The Luftwaffe is present. This is definitely one of the bigger battles I've seen. At least in, the, in Western Front style. Oh, they're trying to make a push for this Panther. Oh, they're actually got a penetration. And they're closer now, the higher chance they have to pay penetrating. And they got it. Oh no. The German position is threatened. Well, the Panzer 4H's J's are keeping them at bay, I mean. Looks like the Germans might have this though. I think the Allies have just lost too much of their steam. The Germans also entrenched in this flank here. Looks like the RAF is coming in though. No, not the RAF, the US Air Force. They were shut down! 
Oh boy. Oh, but the allies are trying to overrun the Dolphin flank. RAF coming in. No, that's not RAF again. That's the US Air Force. Causes some friendly fire. Oh. But looks like the Germans have kind of lost the Dolphin front. They just have some bungers, though. If the Allies can get rid of those bungers, they can push through the northern front here. But another Jagdtiger has arrived. With a small Panzer 4 J trailing up behind it. Stormtiger flying in the center. Oh, that's right, that Sherman right there. US Air Force coming in again with a vengeance. We have a lot of American planes today, a lot of American ambushes planes. Yeah, the British commanders are moving through the north here. They need to get rid of that bunker though. And one gammon bomb shouldn't be all it takes. There we go. A firefly is ready to give someone a bloody nose. Oh yeah, it looks like the British might have the chateau here now. After a lot of sacrificing of brave men. Storm to get another huge shot though, killing a lot of people right there. I am surprised that these commanders are holding so well. They're gonna have a Piet, so they can actually deal with the tanks. But they are being overrun now by the SS troops coming in. Man, this has been quite the battle. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. And long on too, I'm really enjoying this Western Front button. Western Front battle though. More ladder action shots coming in. Bombing the Northern SS position. Wonder what this kind of artillery is. What did we just see get secret call in? That is more American yes superiority coming in. Really trying to destroy any semblance of uh, German tanks or vehicles present. But there's still a Jagdpanzer there hidden. But it's been it's been detected. Ah, it looks like one of the uh, German players have left. That's a real shame. This might be the beginning of the end. This is most definitely the beginning of the end for the year. Oh, but medium! Oh, good storm seeker shot right there. And Stuka coming in here too. I think it was a Stuka anyway. Well, there was no explosion. I'm honestly surprised that this battle is still going. I would have thought the Allies would have run out of steam long ago, but no, the Allies are just making another comeback here. That's replacing the elite troops with just more and more tanks. Showing off the power of Allied industry, industrial potential here. So many German tanks are present too. That's a lot of German tanks. I guess they want to try and fight the allies pound for pound with the armor, which is not an easy thing to do. Looks like more allied SPOs coming over. Giving them clear eyes on what the Axis are doing. Lots of Panzer Force are being assembled though. Land Mattress is firing. On the Panzer Force! 
Because the tighter close the Germans are, the deadlier the uh, damage will be. Oh, they're just hitting the German positions all over the flank here. We even have the RAF. No, not the RAF. The US Air Force coming. It's so weird. It's. I always keep mixing them up. I don't think the US Air Force was needed there, though. Germans are trying to make a push though across the front line here. They run into far too much firepower though. I think because of the north and German left though, I think it's gonna lead to the Allies gonna win this. We lost an infantry unit. They got wiped out. Well this has been a very good long match. Now the Sherman 76 is starting to prove their worth here. Beating much of the German tanks head on. Panzer Force is still trying to form up some kind of crease of line. And while the Allied tanks are pushing into south. And why the Panzer IV can't penetrate the Sherman is because the Sherman is actually a surprisingly good tank. It's not. It doesn't have a bad, as bad of a reputation as you think. The Sherman is a pre pretty well-rounded tank. In armor, firepower, and maneuverability. There's a lot of myths about the Sherman being some kind of a death trap when it really wasn't. That's a tiger, though. But the 76s are beating the, are beating the tiger. A medium tank was just lost. And then the US Air Force is coming in to finish the job. Good job, Shermans. Proving why you're an amazing tank. Sometimes you don't need the heaviest, sometimes you just need the best. Allies just said you need to take the advantage now I'm pushing. As they do seem to be. 76 is half flanking around. Field promotion. That's the Ostwind, which is not gonna last long, I reckon. Yeah, 76 is just playing around with the Germans at this point. And Lambert is firing again, threatening the German front line. The Germans are collapsing. Right, the Allies are just overrunning the Germans at this point. Germans can't keep up this fight. It's good to see them try, though. The Sherman 76 is definitely proving, though, that they are turning the tide of this war. Yeah, even this Jagdtig is not gonna last long like this. It's controlled by the AI, unfortunately. That's a lot of tanks coming for this Sherman 76. The Allies are pushing across the entire front now. What's going to stop them? Another land match is coming in too! And 
And there we go, the Germans surrendered. I hope you enjoyed the carnage here on the Western Front. I'll see you all next time, everyone. Bye-bye.